Uh, what do you do when you've been pastoring for, uh, for 20 years? You know, Steve had walked alongside of me through that whole uh, struggle that we'd had in terms of leading the church. And there came a time when uh, uh, the church and I uh, needed to part ways. Where do you go? Steve had been such an integral part of our lives uh, through that time, through the struggles. I said, Suze, it's your call. Where do we want to go? He said, well, let's, uh, let's give Walnut Creek a try. It was over at Northeast School. And uh, we went, and uh, we never left. Uh, there are so many times in the church where you're in ministry, you're working hard, uh, but the tensions and the struggles and the relationships, it's, it, there's an absence of grace. And there's politics, and uh, there's, there's not this genuine care, seemingly, uh, for the person. And the pastor, there's a job you're supposed to do. And I don't think I've really ever seen a church, I mean, Steve's up there, Tammy's got her ministries, and I see a church that truly loves and cares for their pastor and for his family. And as Steve preaches grace, the church gives grace. One of the things that has been so life-giving, freeing, uh, is to, to see the church allow individuals uh, to use their gifts and abilities. There's just been this real sending atmosphere that says, here's your gifts and here's your abilities to the larger community. As God has spoken to you, we want to affirm those gifts. Uh, you can see it just with the the freedom that uh, the church has provided for, for Steve, for, for Tammy, when good friends leave and we lay hands and we send them on, asking for God to work in their lives. Uh, you know, we're not grabbing hold and saying, no, you have to stay because this is, this is comfortable and this is right. It's, no, we're going to send you out and allow you uh, to further be a part of God's kingdom. We were following the gospel, yeah. and, and we were right at a time in our worship where we were starting to hear more about the gospel, the gospel, and what, what all did that mean? And it was finally when we, you know, we followed Steve Hilkema, who was really getting into that, and that's, that's hard to hear. It's hard to hear we're all sinners, but it's also wonderful to hear. Yeah. And, and so we really, it was speaking to both of us, I think. Um, Dan grew up in the church and, and I grew up in different churches and at no time before that did we really focus on the gospel until right. finally here. Yeah. Um, and every single week for all those years, that's why we keep coming back. We went to my dad's church for a while and it was just... Scary. Well, it was just culturally not there. We, it was... Scary. <laughs> We got a little postcard and it said Walnut Creek Presbyterian Church and I looked at it and I was thinking, I seem to remember some of my family members saying Presbyterians were okay, so maybe we should give this a chance. And The big difference for me <clears throat> um, with Catholicism, there's a lot of should, ought, must and works and I came here, I knew somewhere in my heart that that was not right and I came here and it's about grace and that truly is what it's about. So it, it felt just natural right away. Yeah. Yeah, it felt right. Right. We, we went to the first serv service and listened to Steve preach. And then he, at the mm -hmm. end, I thought, wow, I really like that. I'm like, oh, I'm afraid to ask Marie what she thinks. I know. <laughs> and, and I said, and you looked over at me and you said, I liked it. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I, I was like, nailed it. There was just some issues with um, a levy being passed, people were arguing back and forth, and I guess Steve, and he was in a prayer group at, at school with a bunch of coaches, and they all said, I think we need a prayer service. And I thought, huh, I'm gonna go. I found out that he was a Presbyterian minister, and so I went to it. And at that, at that meeting, he said, you know, we have this coaches group that meets every Friday morning at six o'clock. Anybody is welcome to join us. And it was just at that time that I thought, you know, I need to get back to my church.
I had been attending Catholic Church with my husband for years. And so I went up to him and introduced myself. And I said, were you serious? Can anybody go to this thing at six o'clock in the morning? He said, absolutely. Are you gonna come? And I said, I think I am. So I walked in, there's about 12 men and me. <laughs> and I thought, I don't know if this is okay or not. And most of them were coaches and I don't coach anything. Um, but, but I know all these people because I worked with them. So I started going and I've been going to that ever since. And then I came to church here. Well, people are just so willing to either admit their faults or help one another. And, it, and it's, it's just so evident. It's so obvious when you walk in the door. It's, it's anybody is welcome here. Um, the last video that they made of me at work. Yeah. I played it back and I was like, great, they made me look like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I was like, my glasses were slight on the side. <laughs> we had just moved here from Philadelphia and um, we were looking for a church. And our previous church experience had left us very burnt out and um, very broken. And uh, so I was actually really reluctant to look for a new church. And Peter did all of that work. And um, he suggested coming here to Walnut Creek. So we came and we are here for the very first time. Steve preaches a great sermon. Everybody's really friendly. And we get back in the car and Peter says to me, what did you think? Did you like it? And I go, yeah. And he says, oh, great, we can come back. And I was like, no. And, um, <laughs> and he said, why? And I said, just from one service, um, we would love and be loved here. And I just don't think I could handle that again. I kind of wanted a place to hide and I knew Walnut Creek would not be a place to hide. So we left, um, God pursued us for six months and um, healed us some, and um, we came back and we never left. For us as well, being immigrants, we're <laughs> three and a half thousand miles away from our family. And so for us, Walnut Creek has been the place where we've found family. Um, we've found like grandparents for our kids. Uh, we've found brothers, we've found sisters. Um, so, and parents for us. So that was the thing that um, I think we were afraid of, and, but we found it here.